Hi, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to film my um, bright pinks. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, if you've been following my lipstick series, I've done reds and nudes and light pinks. And now these are the my medium tone pinks to dark bright pinks. So first one we're going to get started with is from MAC. And it is called Moxie. It's what's on my lips right now. This is a matte color and it's like a raspberry color. I could have included this in my reds but it is like a deep hot pink almost. It's like the color of this bag on my lips. Okay you see right here? Yes friends that is where I tried on my red lipsticks and I totally and I totally broke out. You guys may have laughed at the time, but I was like, no, this lipstick is bad. I'm going to break out. And I did. Ooh. So, um, but this is Moxie. It is a matte finish. Um, it's a really pretty color, and I really love this. Today, I start back on my... Um, 30 day thing where I am going to be doing 30 days of like my diet with no going veering off of it. When I was on vacation I really didn't do bad but I didn't do great so now I have to try and get back to where I was. So if you notice that I look a little fatter it's probably because I am so you don't have to This one is from, I don't know if it's limited edition but it's a Maybelline and it is in Tiger Lily Treat which is like, I mean it's very different from the Moxie, but Tiger Lily Treat is like a per pink with like almost like a lavender pull to it. I could have done this one in my light pinks, but I thought it was more of a medium pink. So that is Tiger Lily Treat. My friend likes to call this one Go Bayside because she thinks like, you know, when you wear bright lips. Things when you wear bright lips, you're like Bayside, like Bayside High from Say by the Bell. Okay, next up, this is Pink Nouveau from MAC. Um, I'm going to show you the swatch compared to this um, Tiger Lily Treat. This is Maybelline and this is the MAC one. Um, it the, the MAC one is darker. It's more opaque. This one is lighter. Um, this one is a satin finish. This one has more of a sheen to it. Um, Pink Nouveau is one of my favorite colors um, from, from MAC that I've been wearing this summer. I really love the the pink of this. And I when the Lips and Tips collection came out, this came out with a lip glass that goes with it. And it's like the best lip glass. So I wish I would have gotten two of them, but I didn't. Okay, this one is Chatterbox. This is from MAC. Chatterbox. This is more of a yellowish pink. Uh, you see these have more like blue tones in them. But this is like more of a pink with um, more yellow tones in it. So Chatterbox. Chatterbox is an amplified which is one of my favorite formulas that MAC makes. It's really creamy um, and I find that they stay. This is Candy Yum Yum. It is a neon, seriously neon. Here's the swatch of it right here. You can see it compared to the other pinks. This is very neon. I love it. Okay, this one is Love Lorn. It is like a light pink, but I would say brighter. Um, like a, it falls into the medium pink category. It is a luster finish, so it's sheer enough. It has a good sheen to it. Um, this one is just a really good pink for anyone. Um, I think that if, like, Cream Cup from MAC is, like, a great everyday pink. This one is just a little bit more vamped up. So this is, like, a vamped up Cream Cup. Um, it has a really s nice, sleek feeling when you put it on. So I love this one. This is Love Lorne from MAC. Okay, this next one is called Pink Pearl Pop. It is like a pinkish 
it's got like bright pink qualities. It's right here. But it has like a sheen to it. Almost like a little bit of coral in it. Right there. Uh, it has a pearlish thing, but it's a cream sheen. So Pink Pearl Pop. This is one of the newer ones. I really like this, and I do think it is a great everyday color. Okay, this is Naughty Saute. This is from the Shop, 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 Cook, Cook, Cook collection. Um, it is a neon pink for sure. It has little shimmers in it, but you can't really see that. Um, unless you knew. Um, it is a cream sheen formula. And here it is right here. And here it is in comparison. A lot of my lipsticks in the like medium pink, pink tone are from MAC. I just realized that as I'm swatching these. So, sorry about that moon drops line. This like grandmother's packaging. Um, it's extremely opaque, very pigmented, very creamy. It's right here. It's a little bit more melon than Candy Yum Yum, but it is kind of like a neonish color. Um, it's darker than the other pinks on here, and it has more melon coral to it. It still is a bright pink. So. <laughs> wow that's really funny I really recommend this line I was very hesitant because it smells like my grandma or actually it smells like my mom not saying my mom smells like a grandma but these smell like what you would remember someone wearing lipstick just like an older lipstick I think they've really improved since since they started making lipsticks but anyways this Every single color I've tried in this line has been creamy and awesome, so I highly recommend these. So this is Revlon's Persian Melon. Okay, this is the Revlon Kissable Lip Stain in Cherish. Um, I swatched it. It is right here. It is extremely similar to Chatterbox and Pink Nouveau. Um... It almost looks like Naughty Saute, like the color of that, um, but it definitely doesn't show up on the lips as bright. And I don't know if that's because, look, my lips are getting stained from the other bright pinks. So uh, this one definitely shows up brighter. It has like a little bit of a lavender sort of tinge to it, so it has blue undertones. Um, I really like these, and this is a really pretty color. So, Cherish. This is Sweetheart and it is a Revlon Kissable Lip Stain in Sweetheart. This is just a very nice bright pink. I would say the color looks similar to Persian Melon, although Persian Melon is more opaque. This is it right here and this is Persian Melon. Um, so it, it looks similar but Persian Melon is a more opaque coverage. This is more glossy uh, but it is a stain. So sweetheart okay this one is the Revlon kissable lip stain in lovesick lovesick is is darker than the other one but very similar you would not need both so this is lovesick and that is sweetheart for the fall I would actually go with lovesick over sweetheart so this is lovesick Okay, so this is how my lips look after trying all these on. So I'm not quite sure that the rest of these are going to be exactly true to color on my lips. So you're just going to have to rely on the swatch. Last one is Smitten, which is a darker pink color. You can tell it's much darker. Here's the swatch of it. Smitten is this one up here. Although they really do all look very similar. I don't know if they were worth Such it. similar colors, but this is smitten. Okay, this is from Wet n Wild, and it is Don't Blink Pink. 
It is a matte. I would say this is very similar to Max Moxie. I love, love, love this color. I love these lipsticks. This is Don't Blink Pink and this is Moxie. Moxie is a little bit deeper. This is a little bit brighter of a pink, but very similar. Similar enough, I think you could get away with wearing this one and not Max Moxie. So this is Wet n Wild's Don't Blink Pink. Okay, this is Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pie. One of my favorite colors from that collection. It's going to go great in the fall. It is a deep wine-ish red color. Um, it's similar to the Max Moxie. It's the closest one to it of that. But this is a matte and this is a... Um, has more a sheen to it because it's a lip butter. So this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi. Okay, last one is this YSL Glossy Stain in number 15. And I think this one is some type of rose-ish color, but number 15. Um, it doesn't give the color name, but this is what the color looks like. These are very creamy. I find they do last. This is a swatch of the color right here. It is a medium pink color. Um, these have such an interesting texture on the lips. I don't know if I would say to run out and purchase it, but I am glad that I do have at least one. Um, and I do like this color. Without my lips being so stained underneath, it's a little bit lighter, but it is a very nice medium pink color. Okay, so those are my pink lipsticks. Um, if you have any personal favorites, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Um, next up, I will be doing corals and like, or like corals and peaches, and then I'll have a video with purples and mauves, so keep a lookout for those. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos with nudes and red, nudes, light pinks, and then reds, um, then check below. I'll try and link them in the, yeah. try and link those in the box below. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it and have a great day. Bye. Mwah.